Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. So today is Monday, March 18th and I am one third into The Bands of Morning, which is the I mean the third book in the Era 2 of the Mistborn series and the sixth book overall in the Mistborn series. And so I definitely want to finish this in like in the first half of the week and then I want to start the fourth and last book which is The Lost Metal and apart from that I don't really know because like this week it, it's gonna be a lot it's gonna be tiring because I have classes like I'm already exhausted it's only Monday and I'm already exhausted because I have classes until 8 and yeah I'm really 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 tired and I'm gonna have classes again on Wednesday and Friday, but at least I don't have like a presentation to prepare this week So that is a plus. It's gonna be better than last week at least in that regard. So, you know, there is that but Yeah, I'm I'm already exhausted and that's it also on Saturday there is like a It's not beer fest, but like it's kind of a beer fest here like I mean, it's not a, like here in the city that I live, but it's like in the city, like across the river. <laughs> so I am gonna go to that with my mom because I have like a doctor's appointment Saturday morning and then she's gonna like come meet me and we're gonna go to that and has like beer and food. So it sounds great. So I'm gonna go to that. That's honestly my only plan this week other than obviously work and classes and hopefully read. <laughs> But yeah, that's that's my plan. I'm excited for that. And welcome to the vlog. Thursday and just like last week this is the first time I've had time to breathe this week and I do have reading updates I have read two books I think I was already into this book when I started the vlog wasn't I I can't remember but I'm pretty sure I was like a third in or something I'm not entirely sure but I finished it and this is the sixth book in the Miss Porn series the third one in Era 2 of the Mistborn series, and this is a fantasy series. In Era 2, we are following two, you I mean, we're following a bunch of characters, but like two of them are like detectives and they're trying to figure out what is happening because there are like some mysteries, some crimes that have to do with the magic system and with like magical objects. And so they're trying to figure that out. And I'm not gonna get into anything more specific because I don't want to spoil anything. But I really, really love this book. I really like the characters. And in this one, like the last 150 pages especially, I was on the edge of my seat. I was so nervous and excited at the same time. And then like something happened that I was like, this cannot be happening. Like I was freaking out. But yeah, I really love this. And like this series I mean the whole series is like intense but like the first trilogy it's like in my opinion it's definitely more like epic but this one is definitely more like action-packed and I really like both for obviously like different reasons but yeah I really 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 enjoyed it I like I said it was on the edge of my seat I loved every second of it and I'm giving it 4.5 stars because it didn't you know, give me the feeling of a five stars, but I still really, really, really enjoyed it. And I'm very excited to get into the next one. I would like to start it tonight, but being realistic, I don't know if I will, because I still like have to edit and also I'm tired. So there is that. 
And then the other book that I read was Cruel and Unusual, which was the fourth book in the Case Carpetta series, which is mystery, kind of thriller, not really, it's more of a mystery. And we follow Kate, obviously the main character, who is a medical examiner, and we follow her cases, basically. And this one, like, it starts off with a convicted killer that is on, like, death row, dying and she is tasked with like performing his autopsy and everything and then there are there is like a murder and it could be connected to that killer that died and then there are some like other murders that make everything like even more connected and it was really fun like i enjoyed the mystery i was like invested in the mystery and i always like the all the forensic details that are in the series because like currently my work has nothing to do with forensic stuff but I am a forensic scientist so I really enjoy that and yeah I really like the plots but the characters I still don't like them like from book one I don't really like them that much and I'm still trying to like you know keep going in the series thinking that they will get better because I don't know, there are so many books, there are so many readers. People obviously like them, I assume, but I just, I can't connect to them. They're all so annoying. But this one is definitely my favorite in the series so far because it was the mystery and like the plot that I liked the most. So it is definitely my favorite. I am, I think I'm gonna give it 3.5 stars, but the characters are still not my favorite but yeah that is everything that i have read and today i got some books in the mail that i mentioned in i don't know if it was last week's vlog i don't think so i think it was probably two weeks ago that i had ordered the last two books in the expense series and the last book in the throne of glass series and i got them in the mail today and here they are so we have book eight in the expense series which is I don't know if it's Tiamat or Tiamat. Well, Tiamat's wrap or whatever that is. Oh my god, I have not even like tried to open it yet, but it's not floppy at all, and that is so sad. That is so sad to me. And then we have this one is floppy. Okay, this one is floppy. Alright, so we're gonna finish the series with a floppy book, which I do appreciate. So that is book nine and the last one in the expense series, which is Leviathan false and i'm very excited i still haven't read book seven but i am planning on reading it next month so i'll be one step closer into getting into these and i'm very excited and then this is such a big book <laughs> that i have kingdom of ash which is like i said the last book in the throne of glass series this is 980 pages long which is insane honestly like i've read books that are over a thousand pages that are smaller than this like this is a brick why is it so big like literally i have read longer books that are smaller you know like longer as in page count but they're smaller like why does it have to be so big but yeah also they all kind of match how can i hold oh my god he almost fell off my bed how can i hold three books at the same time okay See, they all kind of match. They're all like yellow, brown, black, orange. You know, they they look good together. And yeah, that's that's that. And in terms of what has happened this week, other than my reading, I have had classes still, and I still have a class tomorrow. The last one this month. It's so much information that we have to study. I'm already freaking out but yeah that's that that's happening and also we got an email today saying that the like the area where we're having classes is not gonna be like open for classes from yesterday to tomorrow we got the email today saying that it wasn't gonna be open yesterday that that happened and like obviously it was open because we had classes there yesterday yeah, like today we don't have classes like at all, but um, yeah, that was weird. So I still have to figure out where the hell my classes are going to be 
tomorrow but yeah that's happening also we had like birthday cake at the lab i mean not like at the lab lab but like at the office two days this week because there were like two birthdays so that was really fun and less fun is the fact that i already had to answer the phone twice i love that for me um like the phone in my new office that i share with like eight people I'm the one sitting next to the phone. I think I just mentioned this in like last week's vlog because that's when I was moved. But yeah, I had to enter the phone and one of the times was just like a colleague calling from the biobank. Oh my god, speaking of biobank, I have to go to the biobank tomorrow. Morning. I mean, mornings are better, but still, I don't want to do it. But anyway, moving on. And the other time was today, like someone calling from like another sort of department. And I was like, who do you want to speak with specifically? And she was like, I'm not entirely sure. So I was like, great, that's that's fantastic. No idea how I'm gonna help you, but that is great. But yeah, we, we figured that out. Also, I said like we didn't have classes today, but I didn't have classes today because like the people who are having this class are like two PhD courses like mine and another one and also like a master's course thing and the master's students had classes today like it was a like lab practice class so it was only for the master students but it was at the lab that I work at so like I'm there every day all day I was gonna be there anyway so I was just like I'm gonna infiltrate the class and my colleagues were giving the classes they were like sure go for it infiltrate so like i didn't have classes but i kind of have classes and yeah that's that's it we also had the group meeting today because it's always on thursdays and yeah i think that's everything that has happened so today i'm going to edit the video for this i was literally like my hand was resting on the book and i was like where is it? That's how I'm doing right now. Yeah, I'm gonna need to film the film. Oh my god, edit. I need to edit. I already filmed. I need to edit this video. And I might start reading the next book, which I think is called The Lost Metal, but no promises at all. And I will probably talk to you maybe like on Saturday once I'm back at my parents' place. you on the weekend because I didn't read anything until last night where I started the Lost Meadow. But like until then I hadn't read anything since the last time I updated you which I think was on Thursday. So yeah I have nothing to say and also we, we didn't end up going to the beer thingy because I mean like we went there to check the place out and it didn't seem that great, <laughs> so we left and we just went to eat at a random restaurant and had beer anyway, just not at the beer thingy. 
but yeah that was that and then i well actually i went to ikea and i forgot one of the i mean me and my parents and we forgot one of the things that we wanted to buy so that's fun we have to go to ikea again and i i hate ikea with a burning passion so yeah i can't wait to go there again like twice in less than a week how fun but yeah we did that and then we just went home and i just kind of kicked the table and yeah we went home and yeah just did nothing productive honestly which was fantastic and yeah last night after i got back i mean i think i actually started reading this book at my parents place like the first two or three chapters i read there and then the rest i read like once i got back here i got to page 107 which is definitely not very far in but this book is set like six years after the end of the previous one and like i was not expecting that and so you know things are different and like the world itself like the the way some of the things work are different and the characters are in different positions and like the character dynamics are different so i am adjusting and also like my favorite character is so sad so there is that but also we are finding out some interesting things about like a new metal so i am really enjoying that i'm just like still adjusting to how things are now and i only read 100 pages so in a 500 page book also this book has exactly like the story has exactly 500 pages and that is very satisfying to me so yeah i'm only like a fifth into the book so yeah still adjusting to how things are now but i am definitely enjoying it but that is everything that i had to update in terms of reading and just in general because i didn't do much and so to wrap up this vlog i finished the bands of mourning and i started the lost metal and i also read cruel and unusual and that was 817 pages which i'm very happy with especially because it was a week where i had like classes and was very busy so definitely very happy with that and yeah that's everything for this weekly reading vlog so thank you so much for watching i really hope that you have enjoyed it and if you would give it a like and subscribe and i will talk to you next time Bye!